Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to show you how easily you can move an object in a circular way in Unity by using the built-in mathf.sin and mathf.cos functions to calculate the object's position on a circular path. If you're interested, let's start. As you can see, I have already created my capsule and my target which the capsule is going to move in a circular path around it. So it's easy, you have your time, just set up something and let's start coding. For doing that, click on the ring. A uh, ring here is the object that is going to move around the capsule. Uh, the capsule is the island. So that sandy circle is going to move around the island. Click on the ring, add component, and then create a script called whatever you want but i'm going with the circular path click to open up in writer let's clear the start function because we do not need start function for this one and then let's start coding as you can see we want to move this object around the island so what should we do? I'm going to explain what each line of the code is going to do. The first line, public class uh, circular path, mono behavior, basically tells Unity that we are creating a new script called circular path that will attach to an object in the game world. Now, the next four lines define some variables that we'll use to control the object's movement. The target variable is a reference to the object we want to rotate around, in our case, the island. The speed variable controls how quickly the object, the sandy circle, is going to move around the island or the circle. The radius variable determines how big the circle is. And the angle variable keeps track of where the object is on the circle. So we are going to use only the update function. As you may know, the update function is a special function in Unity that gets called every frame. In this function, we'll calculate the new position of the object and update its position in the game world. The first line inside the update function calculates the new x position of the object on the circle. It uses the mathf.cos function to calculate the x coordinate based on the current angle and radius and then adds the X position of the target object so that circle is centered on the target object. The next line sets the Y position of the object to be the same as the Y position of the target object. This keeps the object at the same height above the ground as the target object. The third line calculates the new Z position of, of the object on the circle. It uses the mathf.sin function to calculate the z-coordinate based on the current angle and radius, and then adds the z-position of the target object. The fourth line updates the position of the object in the game world. It creates a new vector3 object with the new x, y, and z position that we calculated and sets the object's position to be that new vector. The last line updates the angle variable so that the object will move around the circle on the next frame. It increases the angle by the product of the speed and the time since the last frame, so that the object moves at a constant speed regardless of the frame rate. Now, let's go back to Unity. Uh, I'm going to change the view so you can see everything from the above. 
as you know, we gave a script to the ring one, uh, and the ring one has, as you can see, a variable called target. The target is the island. Uh, we find the game object of the island in hierarchy, drag and drop it in its place, and then we're going to hit play. Currently, you cannot see the a sandy little circle because if you can see it's under the island in order to fix this just increase the radius uh, you can play with the speed as well and then until you get what you want this is the final result the sandy circle is is moving around the island perfect I hope this video helps you. Let me know if you have any more questions or problems in the comment section. And tell me, what should the next video be about? Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye!